hey 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 what is going on everyone and so welcome to my tutorial this evening uh so this tutorial guys is going to be for all you switch and dreamcast lovers out there uh yes i'm going to show you guys how to install a dreamcast emulator on the switch they finally come out with one guys um and yeah i'm about to show you how to install it uh there's actually two Dreamcast emulators. I, I guess you could say two Dreamcast emulators. It, it, the one that I'm about to show you, and there's one called Laka. Uh, now Laka is Linux-based and uses a uses the uh, RetroArch as a front end uh, to turn consoles like this, like the Switch, into a retro gaming console. Uh, so that's a totally different tutorial, guys, because if you if, if your SD card is not formatted to a FAT32, if you have an XFAT like mine, then you have to have a totally different SD card formatted to uh, FAT32. And uh, I'm just not going to deal with that right now. So that's 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 later down the road, guys. And uh, this one right here is good enough for me right now. And so I'm gonna, I'm going to get you guys started on it, all right? And see how you guys like it. So. Let's hop on over to the computer, guys, and we'll get started with this. Uh, it shouldn't take long. There's not much to it, okay? Uh, let's hop on the computer. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm going to make this really quick because uh, this step here, it's not really hard to do at all, guys. It's just copying a couple files over to your SD card, okay? So uh, the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is where you're going to download this RAR file, okay? This is a RICAST for Switch. Called. So uh, let's mosey on over to our Internet Explorer here. And it would come to a media fire site. This is my personal upload, guys. So uh, if you would like, just mosey your cursor on over to this nice, pretty green download tab and click on it and download all the goodies. All right. Uh, I'm going to show, I'm going to be showing you what's all um, enclosed and the uh, RAR file, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, now, um, <laughs> there's one other site, guys, I wanted to show you, which was very interesting. Uh, the site I come across is this site here. Um, this is a Sega Dreamcast emulator. It's the Rycast emulator for the Switch, which has 22 games pre-installed. Okay, this uh, this is an NSP format, 17 gigs. It is quite big, yes, uh, but you do get 22 games. Uh, this is an installable file, guys. So uh, it's just like on your Switch when you install a Switch game from the eShop. Uh, you know how it shows up on your uh, on your menu. Well, this will do the same. Uh, this is an installable NSP file. Really cool, actually. Uh, I'm gonna download it. Uh, the only thing I don't like, guys, is the fact that it, well, they're, the games are pre-installed, and it's in, and it's an NSP file, so there's no way I can go in there to change any games or anything like that. So if there's a lot of games that I don't like. Well, it's useless to me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if you scroll on down, uh, there's a there's quite a few. Um, Images of different games. Uh, I'm not sure if these are the games that are installed. It said 22, but there's more than 22 images here, so I'm not really sure. They just probably throw them up there for the heck of it. I'm not sure. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to download it. Uh, you can do the same. Just check it out if you'd like. And uh, yeah, uh, don't worry. This this will be uh, in a text document, guys. Uh, that I'm gonna have. It in downloads over here in media fire site I'll be showing you that here in a minute uh, and also this is a torrent guys uh, if, you, if I'm moving on over to this part right here this is where it will take you to it's a magnet link and uh, it is a torrent site so uh, if you're not familiar with torrents uh, well you'd have to use uTorrent basically and uh, if you're not familiar with tor uh, if you're not familiar or if you feel uncomfortable with torrents uh, then just don't do it guys uh, just go ahead download what I got over here and download your own games it's up to you all right so that's moving on out of this thing here uh, so let's go ahead and extract this for our archive here and uh, let's open it up okay and let me open my SD card up here 
Okay, so here we are guys, and we're going to open it up, and this is the text file right here guys. If you don't download it for the emulator itself, at least download it for this, because this has uh, quite a few um, uh, download sites, uh, Dreamcast download sites here, uh, including the one I just showed you right here guys, with the 22 games pre-installed. So definitely check that out. Um, so that's that all right um as for the switch folder guys it contains an nro file okay so all you're going to do guys is drag and drop this folder over to the root of your sd card if you want guys here's mine right here you can just open it up guys and drag and drop your nro file right inside that folder here all right that's that very simple not hard to do guys uh, now, as for this RICAS folder, guys, this contains a ROM folder and a data folder. Your data folder is going to contain your BIOS, and this ROM folder is where you're going to put your ROMs. Plain and simple. All right, let me show you mine real quick because I have extra files, and the reason why I have extra files, guys, is because I already booted this emulator up and. Um, I created a save state already so once you boot the emulator up this right here will be created which is not in this one so don't think that I'm uh, leaving things out because I'm not once you, I mean, like I said once you boot it up you, know, you do your thing uh, this config file will be um, created and also these two bin files will be created also and as you can see it says save a1 save a2 so I, I guess that has to do with saves okay uh oh yeah and um here's here's my list of games here and i wanted to let you know what games actually work now i i have a cdi file here guys cdi files and gdi files work to my knowledge uh someone said that gdi files are the best uh now i've had gdi files that would kind of slow down and i've had cdi files that kind of slow down so I didn't see any difference in either one of them because both of them are good. Uh, most of them work really well, to tell you the truth. Um, these ones here, all of these here, these are CDI files, guys. The ones in the folders here, these are the ones that have all the bin files. These are more or less uncompressed, I guess. Uh, here's the DDI file here, and it has all the bin files. All right, same as this one. See, you got track one, track three, and blah, 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 all this good stuff right here. And, uh, the CDI files, they're more just one file or compressed, so that's that. <clears throat> but, like I said, I haven't seen any any difference in the playability between the CDI and the GDI. Really haven't, not yet anyway. Okay, so, uh, guys, that's it for this part. I mean, shoot. That's it. Uh, we're ready to hop on over to the switch guys and i'll show you a couple games running on it and uh yeah and uh let's do this let's let's hop on over there guys and check it out cool all right guys so here we are we're at my switch and uh yes there's a little bitty trick guys to this uh getting this going okay uh so i'm about to show you what not to do all right uh, so I'm running SXOS right now. So if I go up in, into my album here, and if I if I mosey on over to my homebrew um, uh, option here, uh, if I go all the way over, there's my right cast uh, in a row file. Uh, it's a bad idea, guys, to boot it from here. Uh, the reason being, uh, if you boot it from here, you do not have full access to the RAM, and so. Well, loading games um, will be a problem. You'll get crashes like, I, like I've had. Um, somebody's told me not to do it this way, so I've decided, well, let me, let me see what's going on, see if I have any problems. And yes, I had problems. Uh, I had a lot of crashes going on and, uh, and booting games up and stuff like that. So don't go this route, guys. Um, there's a much better way to do this. If you have Atmosphere installed, all right, that's the way we're going to boot it up. All right, um, if you have an installed game, if you have a game from the eShop or uh, you installed an NSP file uh, that you've downloaded, um, I've got one right here. Uh, what you're going to do, guys, is take your controller, uh, hold the right shoulder button down, okay? 
you want to hold this right shoulder button down as you um, boot this game up okay just like this continue holding the right shoulder button down and what this is going to do is going to bypass this game loading up and it's going to go straight into atmosphere or the uh, I should say the homebrew menu all right uh, so in doing it this way guys you completely um, it gives you complete access to the RAM okay and, and you will not have any problems whatsoever in it crashing or anything like that okay so just moves on over to wherever your NRO file is this is mine right here and so we're going to boot into it and you're confronted with this uh, menu here uh, there's all my games there and so what we're going to do I'm going to hit the up button here to go in, into settings um, hit your hit your B button and guys the only thing that I've messed with the only thing I've messed with was the video alright so what I did I clicked on widescreen and then I come down here to uh, horizontal stretching um, which instead of having those black columns on the side and stuff like that guys I went ahead and made it like a, a full screen deal I, I love that and so mine was 139 that that's that was perfect for me it may be a little different for you, from you guys I don't know so uh, go ahead and just play around with it a little bit if you want widescreen I mean widescreen if you want it stretched to full screen okay so do it that way and that, that's it guys I, I haven't messed with anything else absolutely nothing else um, audio I haven't messed with whatever that is I don't know so I'm done with that and now you want to hit your uh, D button down on the D, on D pad highlight the square where your games are at and hit the B button that'll highlight all your games uh, and so we'll come down and the first game we're going to try is the Stern Wind. This is one of my favorite games off the Dreamcast. It is a CDI file. This is a compressed file unlike the DDI files. So we're going to go into it and we're going to see how it plays. Dreamcast. Alright. this thing to load up okay okay so here we go guys I'm gonna hit start loading up and uh, And we're going to hit the B button to start normal mode, yes sir. And we're going to start on level one. And guys, you're going to see why this is one of my favorite games. Uh, the visuals is astounding. Uh, the gameplay is awesome. Um, the soundtrack is just phenomenal. I mean, it's all around great game, it really is. So uh, here we are, as you can see. I mean, just, just great. Uh, you can hit your right shoulder button, guys, to, to change your, uh, your gun and all that good stuff. I think you have to like the three guns to change from or whatever. I kind of like this one. This one's okay, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I mean, Look at it, I mean, it's, it runs, I mean, it's really smooth. I mean, there's no lagging or anything. I mean, it runs really good. So, uh, so to uh, go to the menu, guys, hit your, uh, your minus button, and you have a bunch of options like this right here. You can actually save the game here. Uh, you can load a save state from here. Uh, you have your settings, you can resume the game, you can restart the game, and you can also exit the game. So we hit the B button to exit. 
we're going to use our d-pad to go down highlight the box and hit the b button and then we're going to try another game uh this is another one of my favorite games right here this is actually a gdi file here you guys this, this is the uncompressed version of the um well not version but <laughs> cdi is the one more compressed it's the one file the gdi files have the bin files you know they're uncompressed and so we're gonna try this game out. This is the one I got a safe state on, so it might start me at level two, I think. No, okay, good deal. All right, but I can't, yeah, I can't go to level two because that's where my safe state, that, that's, that's as far as I've gotten is level two. We'll just start with level one, just to show you a little bit of it. Okay, so here we are, guys. Um, uh oh. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's <clears throat> show you a little bit of gameplay here. The only thing, guys, I don't like about this game is the way it... I mean, it's not... It doesn't it fly. I mean, you're either flying straight horizontal, or you're going straight up and down, or you're going diagonal. There's no, like... It's not really fluent in the way you, you fly or anything, which kind of sucks, but... This, this is overall it's a great game. I mean, you can, I mean, it is. It's challenging. It's fun. That's that. But that's it, guys. Uh, as you can see, I mean, really great gameplay. I mean, you can't beat it. So, uh, I'm going to leave you all guys with that. Um, I'm going to hit the uh, negative button here or minus button on the controller. And uh, I'm going to go to exit. And we hit the B button. So I'm going to end it here, guys, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, wherever you are in the world, uh, have a good one, have a good night, uh, have a good day, <laughs> good morning, whatever you want to call it, and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial, let's play, or whatever the heck I get myself into, guys, so... Uh, I hope this really helped you guys out to uh, get to play some Dreamcast games, and uh, I'm telling you, um, Dreamcast really has a lot of great shmups, and uh, I haven't really tried any other games yet, but I'm planning to, so. Y'all have a good one. Uh, this is Bobby signing out, and I will see you guys later. All right.